Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tyler Therian and a lot of you are probably wondering, Tyler, where have you been bro? You used to upload like every day and now you upload like once a week. Bro, what's going on? I'm going to tell you what's going on. I lost my drive, I lost my motivation, I lost my uh, my thing, my, my thing. I just, I don't know, I just lost it. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping I can get back into it. Post every day again. Got uh, got actually a couple of videos already pre-recorded. Um, so I got a couple ideas I'm gonna throw at you guys and whatnot uh, for the next couple days and it'll be pretty good. Um, hopefully I can keep that going and uh, just keep the drive going and uh, keep things going. But uh, anyway, what you guys are probably thinking are like, Tyler, so what have you been doing? Have you not been going to the gym? No, 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 that is not the case. I have been going to the gym, everyone. It's all G in the hood. Your boy has been going to the gym. I've actually been doing this strength program. Now I mentioned it, uh, I think a week ago in the last uh, video, I said I'm doing a program called Gorilla Sweats, a DUP program. It's pretty dope, um, working on my strength at the moment, trying to bring my strength as high as I can. Um, I've never done a strength program, uh, strength, um, fuck, what am I trying to say here? An increase in strength program, I guess you could call it. Um, the reps are real low, it's they're like three to five. Uh, once a week I hit eight reps on uh, each one of the three big lifts, but um, most of the time it's like three to five. So. It's been going good. Um, so much lower back strain though. Holy shiza. Like my back is, my lower back is so fried. I got one week left of this, which I'm going to film for you guys every single day next week with commentary on each single one. Let you guys know exactly what's going on in my head as I do each one of the exercises. And I'm going to show you guys. You guys are going to be like, wow, that's so much lower back emphasis. So uh, currently you guys are watching just a couple clips I've been filming through this last week. Um, just, you know, smashing out some numbers, um, playing around with some stuff. The program actually I just put in each one of my, uh, so it's, so let me get this, let me get this out, you know, a little bit more clear. It focuses around the three main lifts. It focuses around your bench, your deadlift and your squat. Now, uh, with that, you plug in each one of your maxes. It calculates your whole um, numbers for the whole week. You have a couple accessory exercises, such as like a bicep workout, a tricep workout, a couple shoulder exercises. Um, those aren't monitored by a number or anything like that. But nonetheless, you, uh, you, that's kind of just on your own. But the other ones, you have uh, your bench, your squat, and your deadlift. It already pre puts in all the numbers you need to know for each week. Um, tells you how many reps, how many sets, and let me tell you guys, this is a ridiculously hard um, program. Like I've never done something so physically exhausting, to be quite honest. Like you put everything you got into every single one of these workouts. Like, and you're overreaching so much. You're putting on an extra five pounds every single week. So you, I know some of you are thinking like, oh, that's only an extra five pounds. But dudes, like that actually is a lot when it comes to your bench, your squat, and your deadlift. Like five pounds makes a big difference. So been working on that, focusing on that. My bench press has definitely gone up. My form on that has just perfected. I feel like I've perfected it. Um, I feel super strong. That was really the main point of this was to get my bench press up because wow, does my bench press lack. But nonetheless, my squat, my squat form has improved, my deadlift form has improved, my uh, my mobility and my hips and everything like that has improved because I have to uh, had to incorporate a bunch of stretching and stuff like that. Um, also, because I'm only doing about four exercises per day, um, I find that I'm actually not even well. Eh, I don't know if it's just the fact that I'm adding more weight to the bars or if it's just uh, less sweating because I don't sweat as much as I would during a hypertrophy 4x8, uh, 5 to 10 workouts kind of thing, arms, triceps kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, so I feel like I'm not sweating as much, so maybe that's the reason why I'm actually gaining weight right now, like pretty at a pretty steady rate. Or maybe it's just because I keep adding weight onto the bars and I'm just pushing my body to its absolute limits with every uh, one of those big lifts. Those compound lifts work everything, man. Like, well, okay, maybe not everything, but almost everything in your body, right? So, um, nonetheless, I'm getting bigger, I'm getting stronger, I'm feeling great at the gym. Um, 
feel like I'm getting off track here. Uh, yeah, all well, my form is good, lots of stretching going on so I can uh, get great mobility in my hips. I find that uh, if I have a really good, uh, if I have good mobility in my hips and uh, legs and stuff like that, it takes a little bit of stress off my lower back when I'm doing the squats and the deadlifts. But uh, yeah, so I think that's uh, kind of where I'm at right now, guys. Calories, I'm sitting at 3,500 calories right now. I'm gonna look this up real quick on my phone here. I am currently intaking 175 grams of protein. I am taking in 481 grams of carbs and I'm taking in 97 grams of fat. And that gets me my 3,500 calories a day. Trying to eat uh, every two to three hours. A little bit difficult, but you kind of got just got to do what you got to do. Um, one of the the two consistent supplements I am taking right now is creatine and my mass gainer, Mass Fusion by Nutribolics. Great mass gainer, uh, highly recommend it. Doesn't give you the the dumps or anything like that, so um, doesn't hurt my stomach, nothing like that. I currently tried this new pre workout called ESP Extreme, guys. Now. That title is not a joke. It is an extreme pre-workout. Wow, like it's so euphoric. Um, like it, it, it's all in your head. Like you're just so mentally there. The problem with that is afterwards, wow, like after the workout, I get dizzy, I get nauseous, I get tired. Like, like it is, it's one of the worst slash best pre-workouts I've ever taken. In the gym, feel amazing. I like unstoppable, I feel like I can break through brick walls. Like I'm just, it's just amazing. But I can't, I can't do anything after. I literally come home, I feel like absolute crap. I feel like I'm gonna puke. I feel like I'm, like I can't even, like I barely can move because I'm just so damn dizzy. And I get so, uh, so tired. Like I, I literally wanna come home and just sleep. So I'm kind of not taking that right now. Um, if I do an evening workout, a late night evening workout, I'll have no problem taking it. I'll take a scoop and then I'll just come home, eat one meal and then go to bed. Also, it suppresses your appetite like crazy amounts. Like, like I can barely eat any food after uh, taking that pre-workout. So it actually has three scoop levels. It has a small scoop or you can take two of the small scoops or it has one size of the large scoop. Now, last time, the first time I ever took it and the last time I ever tried uh, doing it was with a large scoop. I actually threw up. I was nauseous. I threw up like literally three times. So I went to the doctor. He said it was a stomach flu. So I don't know if it has anything to do with the pre-workout or not. Um, but nonetheless, I'm kind of freaked out to take that again. And last time I took two of the small scoops. I went to a buddy's house afterwards and I was literally just spinning on his couch. Like I was like trying to play video games, but I could barely focus. My head was blah, and I was all dizzy and tired and crap. So yeah, but nonetheless, like in the gym guys, I'm not joking. Like this stuff is intense, crazy powerful. Like nothing I've ever experienced, but yeah. So it's kind of like I recommend it, but at the same time I don't recommend it. So I mean, you know, if you want to take it, I can leave a link in the description below. Use with caution guys. I told, I've, I've told you the bad side of it, so you know if you all throw up and feel like shit afterwards, don't blame me. I I, put, I said what I said. It is a crazy hard pre-workout. Anyways, guys, I think that's where I'm gonna wrap it up right now. I'm about to cook some chicken up and get some meal prep going on. Um, I'm hoping to get an IIFIM full day of eating going on next week or the week after. Um, next week is really gonna focus around getting, making sure I'm getting. Uh, every single set, um, or not every single set, every single exercise, uh, really show you guys what's going on with that DUP program, whether I recommend it, whether I don't recommend it, I do recommend it, is honestly what I'm gonna say right now. But uh, like I said, it's um, awesome. Put your body right to the limit. And yeah, so I think that's all I'm gonna do, talk to you guys for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed these clips that I had going on in the background while I do a bunch of talking about this whole last week. Um, yeah, so I think that's kind of where I'm gonna leave you guys for today. Like I said, meal prep, and then I actually gotta work in the evening tonight. So I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is gonna be how to squat. The next video is gonna be how to bench press. Um, and then the next video after that's gonna be how to deadlift. And that's just because I really feel like I've gotten a really good, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? I feel like I've perfected my 
personal form. I feel like I've really perfected my form in all three of those big lifts. So I'm gonna just tell you guys exactly what I do, how to do it. I'm not saying that this is the only way to do all these three lifts. It's just what I have found works awesome for me. It doesn't take, doesn't hurt my back, doesn't hurt my shoulders when I'm benching, kind of thing like that. So anyways, guys, this is where I'm gonna leave you. Um, hope you all have a great day. Like always, happy lifting. I'll see you tomorrow in the how to squat video.